Well, add with that, uh, I'm going to uh, jump in. Uh, I'm Rob Cross Handler, and it's my uh, pleasure to uh, welcome you to today's webinar. Uh, Kim has uh, has started us on in a very soft voice, a little easy <laughs> midweek kind of a thing to just get us going. So today, Kim is going to be talking a little bit about the I Give button with New Tab. It is actually a very exciting thing. We'll see if her voice gets a little bit more uh, uh, interesting. Animated. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Um, she is, after all, a professional for this. We're going to talk to you about uh, cause shortcuts, cause content cards, and these are all part of New Tab, and it is the fourth quarter, uh, so holiday shopping is upon us, so it is time for a uh, promo. Uh, with that, I'm going to kick this back to Ms. Kimberly Logan. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, yes, I am being mellow. I don't want to shock anyone too too early in the in the presentation. But we are going to be talking about some really exciting things. So let's get started. First of all, what is NewTab? NewTab is part of the iGive button, which is a browser extension. And NewTab is fantastic in that it lets the causes directly communicate to their supporters. We are so excited about how this tool can bring you closer to your supporters by essentially being a part of their homepage experience. Currently, NewTab is available for Chrome, which as I mentioned, most people today are, are using Chrome to watch the webinar. Uh, it's also available on Firefox and Edge. We are working on a version for Safari, but we don't yet have an ETA on that, so stay tuned. In addition to uh, users being able to add their own shortcuts, let me get my little laser pointer. So these shortcuts uh, can be user added. Uh, causes can also create a shortcut leading to their website. And I am going to show you how you can do that. So once you're to igive.com as a member, you're going to click on the text link for cause, which is at the top center of every page on iGive. Then you'll click on this drop down menu for the cause dashboard. And from that drop down, you click edit cause information. Here you will be asked to log in again. Now you've already logged in as a member, but this is the login to the cause administrator toolbox. Your cause email may be different than your member email and your cause password may also be different than your member password. The cause ID and password were presented to the cause administrator in an email when the cause was listed with iGive. So if that's, you know, if you guys have been with us for quite a while, that may have changed or the person uh, who signed you up may have uh, moved on to other opportunities, but no problem. You can always click on can't find your cause ID password, and we will go ahead and reset that for you so that you can access all of these tools. Now, once you've logged in as the cause administrator, you'll see lots of options to edit your cause information. And the reason this is behind an additional password is because it does have things like your mailing address and the contact for the cause administrator. And if those things, uh, if those are left blank or changed by someone who doesn't have the permission to do so, you could be missing out on I give checks and nobody wants that. But if you scroll down to cause shortcut on new tab and click the little plus sign, this is where we can add that shortcut to the members new tab. So the shortcut name is typically going to be the name of your cause. If your cause has a longer name, uh, for example, Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund, you may want to use an abbreviation of JDRF so that it appears uh, more cleanly on your users' pages. The cause shortcut URL is the website address for your cause. In this case, my cause is Friends of Pet Traits. And so the web 
the shortcut URL is their website to their homepage, www.friendsofpetrates.com. Click Submit. And then when we look at the live version of the new tab homepage, you see Friends of Pet and then dot, 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 because again, if it's a little bit long, it is going to cut it off uh, about you know 20 characters in. Uh, you may notice that the image above the name is a W with a circle around it. This image and these images next to it are all called favicon. Some people say favicon. It's basically a made up word that combines favorite and icon. And in this case, the internet has worked its magic and pulled the favicon image from the website associated with my cause, Friends of Pet Traits. And you may be asking yourself, what in the world does a big W have to do with an animal rescue site? Unfortunately, nothing. Uh, the internet magic in this case did not work so great. The website for this cause was built using WordPress. Uh, you may be familiar with WordPress or Wix or Squarespace or other website building platforms. And depending on how your cause's website is set up, the uh, internet magic behind the scenes may actually pull the logo for that service instead of for your website. Not to worry, I am going to walk you through how you can pull a better image so that it actually is more uh, visually appealing and definitely representative of your cause. So to get a better image, I am going to go directly to my cause's website. When I do this, it's helpful instead of closing out the uh, I Give Tools webpage, if I open up a new tab to access my cause's website, I can then kind of toggle back and forth between that website and I Give Tools where I'm already logged in. The logo for our cause here is on every page. So I'm going to try and pull that image because it seems like that would be the best thing to associate with the favicon. So I'm using a PC. And so what I can do is on that website, I can right click on the image that I would like to use and this menu shows up. And from this menu, what we want to choose is copy image address. We don't want to save the image and we don't want to copy the image itself, but what we need is copy image address. So when we Click on that, it saves our image address to our clipboard. And then when we come back to the cause toolbox, under alternate image URL, we can right click in this space here and select paste, because we'll get that same uh, menu opening up. And it will paste the URL for that image as opposed to that website right here in this field, and then we'll click Submit. Now, when we reload our new tab page, we can see that the Friends of Pet Traits logo is here instead of that W. It does appear a little bit small, especially if you look at sort of the other images uh, next to it. And the best way for you to get the perfectly sized image is to work with your web developer. Uh, I am not a web developer, but as you can see, I can at least do something to get rid of the generic W and make it a little bit more user-friendly uh, looking. The ideal size for your favicon is 64 by 64 pixels, and that way it'll fill the square without blurring or being uh, too, too big. So that is our quick and dirty on updating shortcuts and favicons. Rob, do we have any questions before I move on to the cause cards? Well, so a uh, question from Jennifer. Um, how do I get new tab? Okay, no problem. Um, let me see if I can show us a live version of, of iGive real quick. This is my live iGive uh, website. When you're on iGive, as a member, if you scroll down to the bottom and click on I Give button, that will walk you through how to install 
the I Give button and the browser add-on. And that will, in that process, give you the opportunity to turn new tab on. I, I noticed it said something about a dime a day. That's the question. So when you turn on that new tab function of the I Give button and you see the new tab as your home page, or when you open a new tab and see that page, you will earn a dime for your cause. And that qualify. you can open the tab as many times as you want every day, but we're gonna give you a dime for that first time. Great, uh, Jennifer says, thank you. Excellent. So now I will take you through how to add a cause card. So currently from this screenshot, you can see that there aren't any Friends of Pet Traits specific messages down here, but I'm gonna show you how you can add that. Uh, you may have noticed that there is a new member promo card, and that is going on through October 31st, and we'll get into that a little bit more detail later, but don't forget that now is a great time to tell your friends about iGive. There's also a card from Zappos, which is an iGive merchant, and then this dime a day card to the right here is actually, uh, if you click on it, you'll get a little bit more in-depth reasoning behind the dime a day promotion and uh, exactly how it works and how to spread the word. So back in our iGive tools, I lost my pointer. There's my pointer. Back in our iGive tools, add uh, cause administrator tools and the cause dashboard, we're gonna scroll down below cause shortcut on new tab to cause cards on new tab. And when we click that plus sign, you'll see cause card generation. And uh, this dropdown shows that we currently have two options for card type, one text and image, and one being image only. On the right here is an example of the text and image version. You can see it's about half and half. And I'll walk you through how to create each type. So when you select text and image from the drop down, here are the fields that we need to fill out. The click through URL is the landing page that you want to pay, take people to on your cause website. For our example, I want to take people straight to the volunteer page for Friends of Pet Traits. So you can select the home page if you want, um, but you've already got that favicon on there. So why not take people maybe to a very specific request? Uh, Friends of Pet Traits volunteer. So again, rather than closing out the window, I'm opening a new tab so that I can kind of bounce back and forth between my causes website and the iGive toolbox where I'm working. I'm going to highlight and right click to copy this URL. And then when I go back into iGive tools, I'm going to right click on the click through URL and paste this here. And next we need the image URL. And again, this is a situation where we're going to right click on the image we want to use, select copy image address, and come back into tools and paste that image address. We recommend a horizontal rectangle that's about twice as wide as it is tall, is sort of the ideal shape and size. And then for the headline, something that is relevant to the page that you're going to be taking your, your supporter to and appropriate to the image, I named this one Foster Today. And then a little bit of information about what fostering at Friends of Pet Traits entails. So maybe you need uh, foster volunteers, or maybe you have an in-person event or a fundraiser coming up. Maybe you wanna drive people to the page on your website where they can sign up for your email list. Uh, you want to make sure that the click-through URL is landing on that specific page and that the card text is referencing what you would like them to do once they get to that page. You'll click add entry and then ta -da! you can see that foster today. This was the image I pulled. It's a couple of cute little birds here. And that information that I typed in 
And you'll also see that this little tag here says from your cause. That way your users know that this message is coming directly from you. Uh, the new member bonus obviously is from us here at iGive, but we wanna make sure that they know when you are talking directly to them. You as a cause can have up to three cards at any given time, and they will show up in reverse order from when you add them, but they will also show up before any other messages. So they will precede anything from iGive and also anything from an iGive merchant because we want your message to be front and center. I'm going to talk to you through adding an image only card, and then we will talk about our promo and upcoming contest. So back in our tools, we selected text and image last time. This time we're gonna go for image only. We're gonna come back to our causes website where I, my particular cause has an entire gallery of uh, fabulous pictures of rescued and rescuable uh, animals. So I've chosen image only as the type. The click-through URL, I want to go ahead and take people from new tab to see pictures of all of the animals that are uh, featured. So the website URL is the friendsofpettraits.com slash FOP hyphen gallery slash, but obviously I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, right click and then come back to tools, right click again and paste it into the image URL. The headline in this case is basically the title of your card. So I've named, because I pulled a really cute image of a guinea pig, uh, the headline is guinea pig August 2022, and I click add entry. And as you can see, there's an adorable guinea pig with a little heart. Next to the image and text card that I already created. Even though we named this card guinea pig August 2022, it still says from your cause instead of having sort of that title. But the reason we require that headline is actually to help you uh, maintain the cards as you create multiple ones. So cards, again, appear in reverse order. So this is the first one I added. This is the next one I added. And if I added a third one, this would sort of roll over to here and roll over to here and the new card would be on the, the far left. And once you have uh, created cards, whether they be text and image or image only, in the iGive toolbox, we now have the listing of what you've created. And you can, and for image only, labeling it with a, a relevant name and date can be very helpful in finding what card you wanna make sure you're editing. So that's just a, a good tip in terms of future proofing. If you do want to make any changes, you click that little edit, make your changes. If you wanna delete the card, you click on delete card, click update entry, and that card would go away from your new tab, but you would still see that uh, it's, gone, it's been edited out from your existing cards. If you just wanna make changes, then you can maybe rename the image to guinea pig. Now it's October, 2022 and click update entry and that would change the name down here. So that is how you add a content card from your cause. Rob, do we have any questions thus far? Uh, no, we do not. All right. We're, we're happy to answer them as we go. There is a a couple minutes at the end of the session uh, for a Q&A, but if we can get it as the flow goes, we'll do that as well. All right, then I am going to take a break and have a sip of tea while you take us through the iShop I Give contest. So there's nothing like holiday time to get people interested in helping your cause or charity and we want to help sort of goose that uh, that experience and to do that um we're giving uh, away money uh, money is money is good 
Uh, and we're doing it by asking your supporters to create a really simple, uh, you know, a, a TikTok or Instagram or YouTube type video for 45 seconds or less that mentions your cause by name, right? It needs to say pet rates. And we wanted to also mention IQ because not only will you get some money because uh, folks submit uh, this uh, video, but uh, when people use iGive, your cause gets additional donations. 2,200 different stores make it possible uh, for every time people shop for money to go to your cause. Uh, there are some requirements uh, that that uh, the video needs to be shared to a public YouTube page or a Facebook page and or Instagram. Um, oh, you know, I, I said uh, I said money. We have actually spelled it out. It's a ten dollar bonus donation. And this, we're not looking for something uh, overly produced. We want someone to take a couple of minutes to make a 45 second video. We did this a little bit earlier this year. We did this in September. And it turns out it's really, really effective. People love watching these short videos. Uh, so much so uh, that we said the top three uh, uh, entries based on Kim and her staff's uh, uh, keen eye, will also get a $50 Walmart gift card. So if uh, Jennifer, you want to go submit a video and it's one of the top three, in addition to your cause getting $10, you'll get a $50 Walmart gift card. Uh, uh, we wanna actually show you. I can't share the video itself because uh, if I do, you'll see the video, but not hear any sound. <laughs> We were trying to figure out how to share the sound earlier, but you can go to our YouTube channel, which is I Give Do You. And yes, that's me and all of my uh, crazy hair glory, but this is my little buddy, Ashland, in all of his crazy hair glory as well, whom I adopted from my cause, Friends of Pet Traits. And you'll find out all about how whenever I buy uh, hay for him from Chewy.com, Friends of Pet Traits gets a donation. And as I mentioned earlier, now is a great time to spread the word about I Give and your cause. Uh, if members join for the first time between now and October 31st, and they make their uh, first purchase within 45 days of joining, we're offering a $15 bonus donation. So between $10 for the video and $15 for new members, your cause could really kind of be raking in the dough in the next uh, two to three months. So let us know how we can help you get the word out and we will do our best to do so. Now we are at that questions portion. If you don't wanna ask a question here, you are definitely welcome to email us at support at igive.com or check out some of our support articles at support.igive.com with uh, a bunch of helpful, they're called knowledge base articles. And on behalf of uh, myself and Kim, I wanted to say thank you. Uh, we try to get you out of here on time and uh, you, are, uh, uh, you, are the, you are what make iGive work. So thanks for uh, joining us this afternoon. Uh, uh, oh, oh, we got one question came in under, under, oh, it's two questions. People waited. Oh, well, okay, thank you. Uh, and they're really sort of the same question. Uh, Jim and Denise have asked, do we have social media templates? Do we have clip art? Uh, and uh, we do. So Kim is showing you, you click on cause. And then you get to the cause toolbox, and there are lots of things in that drop down, including banners and logos and blurbs and ads and uh, an ever increasing, sometimes out of date, uh, stuff for you to use. And, and boy, we would like you to use it because we find that all of that helps really, really well. Uh, we didn't mention Facebook particularly much in this particular webinar, but it, for many, many causes, is a very effective way to easily spread the word. And of course, if each and every one of your uh, supporters has the I Give button, they're automatically helping you with money, you're automatically earning a dime a day, and 
you're messaging them with uh, news that they can use. So now I'm going to give it back to Kim to provide any closing comments she might have. Sure. So we do have those images that I showed you under the cause dashboard, but also on uh, the Telefriend page, we have suggested uh, copy or language that you can copy and paste. And uh, be sure when you are spreading the word that you are using a, a personalized link or a link that is um, tied from your Telefriend so that whomever you are referring is taken directly to your charity of choice. Uh, sometimes if, if you just say, hey, check out I Give, then that's great and they will check out I Give, but they might choose one of the 35 or 40,000 other charities and your cause could be missing out. So make sure you use uh, tools from I Give when you're logged in, either the Telefriend or that cause dashboard. Uh, and it does look like there's another question in there, Rob, from Janet. Oh, okay. I was I had looked away. Uh, whether you're a big or a small nonprofit, uh, it doesn't matter. How do you put an I Give button or donate button on our website? So the I Give button is actually a browser extension, um, and that goes into your supporters. Your supporter uses that. Um, you can put a link or an image on your uh, on your website, and uh, you would tie it. The image could have a join link behind it, uh, and uh, Kim has brought up a uh, an example of that. Yes. Yeah, so this link would take uh, potential users directly to, as I mentioned, I give in support of your cause. Um, you can either simply uh, add the text link somewhere on your website, but we definitely recommend that you use some of the images. And you would need to work with your web developer to figure out where you want to place the image, if you find one that is uh, relevant to your cause, or if you just wanted to use an iGive logo. Uh, we have various file types, and then uh, link it to that, that join link. And these are all in the cause toolbox. I hope that answered your question. There's, there's in that support uh, portal, there are some walkthroughs of how to do some of these things that are a little bit more um, visual. So there are screenshots of, of how to get what you want and, and where to put it, rather than me <laughs> trying to walk you through the the copy paste. So you can see that when you open up an image, it shows you the, the web code, the HTML. Um, I, I know I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I've just heard those letters used before. <laughs> there you go. Well, again, uh, on behalf of all of us at I give, thank you for taking some time out of your afternoon uh, to help your cause or charity. Thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to seeing you over at support if you need additional assistance. And we'll get a recording out as soon as possible. Thank you.